I'm about to share with you what my plant-based toddler eats in a whole day. But before I do that, make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of my plant-based inspiration. We started the day off with some baked banana raisin oatmeal and it was just so tasty. I'll show you how we made it. We just grabbed three bananas and put them all in a bowl. I ended up mashing them all up. These were not as ripe as I would have liked them to be, but they still tasted good. So three whole bananas, I put them into the bowl and then I added some old fashioned oats as well. I think it was two and a half cups. I will leave the measurements, two cups of oats. But yeah, I'll leave the measurements down below so you know exactly what it was. I didn't have my masher, so I literally used the back of a measuring cup and it worked just fine. Added one fourth cup of plant milk into the mixture as well as a third a cup of completely natural applesauce. There's no added ingredients, no added sugar, it's just applesauce. And then half a cup of raisins. And so I added all of this together into the mixture and along with some imitation vanilla. I do not use regular vanilla in any of my cooking. It's just my preference. I don't like to <clears throat> put the alcohol in my dishes. And um, I added some cinnamon and then just mixed it all really well together once it was all good and mixed i transferred the mixture into a glass baking dish and spread it all out just using the spoon just try to make it nice and flat and uh, it went in the oven for 15 i think i put it in for 20 minutes and baked it at 350 and while that was baking, I grabbed the all natural peanut butter out. Here's what it looks like after it has baked. And Berkeley was asking for raisins all throughout this process. I think she had three little cups of raisins that she was snacking on. Grabbed my cutting board, an apple, and my sharp knife. Cut up an apple so it can go on her plate so she can get all the um, benefits of this apple meaning the vitamin c in particular that way she can absorb all of the um, iron and other nutrients in this delicious dish i also added some organic blueberries to her plate as well and then i took that peanut butter that i took out of my pantry and added some of that on top of her little slice here for some extra added healthy fat the peanut butter i use is all natural it is just nuts and maybe a little sea salt nothing else for lunch, I made Berkeley a cucumber and bean spread sandwich. The way that I made the bean spread was chop up an onion, peel everything off and then chop it up in just little small pieces. It doesn't really matter how small because they're gonna get blended anyways. Uh, onion's good. Onion's good? Are they good for us? I have it. Gonna have to wait, Berkeley. Okay. I just water sauteed the onion and added some garlic and just let it simmer for a little bit until it got golden brown and just eyeballed the garlic. And while that was simmering, I cut my lemon in half since I'm going to use the juice from it. And then I uh, peeled my cucumber and I checked on my garlic and onion mixture rinsed and drained the beans from the can and put them in the blender and then here is my mixture of the garlic and onion i'm going to put all of that in my blender as well as all my other ingredients my little lemon juicer here added some fresh basil added some chives some water some pepper and some pink salt and then we just both tried to get the blender to start <laughs> and blended it all up. This mixture, we didn't blend it fully all the way, only because I think it was supposed to be a little chunky still. This is a vegan pate was the name of it, but I'm just calling it a white bean spread. And then so I just spread it out all over her toast. And doesn't that look good? And I put the cucumbers on top. I actually had this myself. And once I, uh, I spread out the 
mixture on both sides and then I cut it into a little sandwich serving and put it on her plate had some steamed broccoli for her as well as some apples and yeah and then dinner time we went out to eat with family and so we were at a steakhouse we live in Texas and that's what my family likes to go eat and so as vegans Berkeley and I get things like rice and sweet potatoes and stuff like that so she had rice and sweet potato if you enjoyed my video today and you are enjoying my content you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash the busy vegan mom I appreciate your support I do upload videos every Monday and Friday don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my plant-based inspiration make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video